Hey there, fellows. All right. So today I've got me um, this guinea pig at my disposal, and it is just too good a car to throw away. I mean, it has a working engine, and I enjoyed watching experiments with gallium. We don't know very much about it ourselves, but we would like to see what... Um, it's all about, and how seriously it should be taken. And so in today's episode, here's what we're gonna do. The engine on this starts, the pistons are made of aluminum, and gallium goes well with aluminum. So we're gonna remove the head, clean the pistons, pour some gallium inside, wait for a bit. Then we remove any excess gallium, put the head back on, and try starting this engine. I mean, something is bound to happen, right? Yeah, let's put this engine to sleep. Gallium inside the cylinder is what will happen. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, guys, we're doing well here. Everything is excellent. We've got the cylinder head off, that's all looking good. Obviously, there will be carbon deposits on the pistons, I mean, this car has seen some use. Now it's all a matter of removing them. Then I work them with a heat gun and place the gallium onto them. Take a look at this. Apparently, the engine is going to give up soon. This needs to be overhauled. But then number one feels tight. No, it's actually moving too. It's not as bad as four, though. All right, so the pistons are covered in gallium. We'll allow it all to sit. So we wait for a day, clean the excess, reassemble the engine, start it, and see what happens. Okay, guys, we're good. It's been a couple of days. And now we're gonna give this a turn. Yeah, ain't moving. Okay, so we've removed any excess gallium. That actually required heating it and pulling it into a syringe. Then I used a rag to wipe it down. And just look at the new color of those pistons. Now, I don't think I've ever seen pistons that are this shiny, or this sort of color. Okay, let's assemble the engine, start it, and see what happens to these pistons. Whether they survive this ordeal or not. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, it's time to start the engine and see what happens. Okay, let's fire it up. Oh, wow.
We need to adjust the ignition. Yeah, that's good. We have a fire. Yeah, something's wrong. Lot has run some mighty pistons. So the first startup has been successful so far. We are looking good, so let's fit a cooling system to this motor. Because, I mean, we were worried that it might die straight away. Yeah, this should fall apart. We have to put this one to sleep. <laughs> so it was parked for about two, three days, maybe? Good luck. It started. And it stalled. What's going on? We got no compression. It's turning as if it doesn't have pistons. Come on now. Why so fast, though? Should we try quick start? No, look at them flames. The car be spitting gasoline. Did you see that? And that's a wrap. It's as if... You only got the crank in there turning. So apparently, guys... We just had to let it sit longer. Good thing I allowed it to sit for a few more days. Let's do a compression test. Here we go, number one wide open throttle. Turning. How much is that? Ten atmospheres? Nothing, like for real? That was one or which one was it? We're doing two now. Yeah, that would be two. What does it say? It's got a bit. Wait a second. Hit it. What do we got? Six. On six it would even... It should start even. Okay, now number three. And what do we got? Nothing. Awesome. Now number four. Zero in there as well? Indeed. Sweet. So only number two had compression. Six or thereabouts. So that piston survived then. I guess we should have a look. All right, let's have a look and see what's going on in there. Put that away, please. Oh. Holy. We were looking for what again? Compression? How about finding the pistons? <laughs>